<laughs> Moment of truth time. Will I weigh the lightest I've been? And the survey says, yes, I will. That is one way to wake up and start your day. It might be wet and gray outside, but we're starting today with a W. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces back to the vlog. I'm grabbing myself some hydration for the nation. Saying hello to Kevin. Good morning. And admiring my hard work from yesterday. Like, come on. That's insane compared to what it used to look like. Just day after day, putting our mind to doing stuff and actually doing it. Speaking of which, time to go and get bossed around by my PT Charlotte. And I've got a feeling I'm gonna feel this today. I am sore. <laughs> Make me. I'm not going on it. That is the devil in disguise. No. No. 30 seconds. 10 seconds. Oh my gosh. You said we were doing two. I know, yeah. Then three. Then four. Oh my gosh. I am absolutely shattered. Well played. Session eight in the bag, Charlotte. Thank you for pushing me. Woo. Oh my goodness me, flipping heck. Easily the hardest session we've ever done, but I can tell you for a fact, if I didn't do seven weeks prior to that eighth, I would have not been able to complete that. I am definitely walking like Bambi right now. Half past 10 and I can actually finally Start my day. I'm doing something pretty awesome this morning. And it involves being back at the house. And it involves this little guy. Hello there. Good morning. Did we have a grumpy guts of a child oh, last night? These bald spots on show. Just like his father. <clears throat> and mate, look at the size of your toes. You've got T-Rex feet. And look at you now, you little poo bear. And I hope bears can swim because that's where we're going. So let's get the pram out the car because we're getting even more exercise and walking there. But before we assemble this, I need to point out this. A problem that I've been having for absolutely months and months and months is that right there. For a bit of context, these are electric gates that are supposed to open this one first, then that one. But if you look closely in the ground, you'll see there's a metal ball there that's to stop the wind pushing them and overextending them past their range. But if you look even closer, you'll notice that that ball has sunken into the ground. And just over time and wear and tear, this gate has dinted in and gone over the ball a bit. So when you try to open the gate, and in most circumstances, you're in an absolute rush, the gate gets stuck on it and doesn't move. And it is infuriating. So I think rather than just staring at it, I think we need to do something about it. So that is our task for the day. Oh, and to the thousands of people just saying, Tom, get new gates. I might do if we do the drive, but not yet. We will fix the gates with a temporary solution. But first, it's adventure time with little Alfredo. Can we just give all the credit to Lydia for styling him? And look at her, look at her, with her little pom-pom ears on. Adorable. And look who it is, the Irish. <laughs> and we've come for a swim at Puddle Ducks. Little dude, he's got his little tiny emperor hat on. <laughs> so cute. Great success? Yeah. Honestly, so lovely to watch, even though he's just sat in the water like this. Gonna... He seems to be having the time of his life. And I can confirm, I enjoyed watching it, but the push home, oh my gosh, not after today's gym session. Same vibes, bro, same vibes. We could just head straight home, but if we put a picture on the screen now that I got from my sister of a massive shipment that has arrived at Syndicate Original, I thought we'll swing by, show them Alfie, and offer a helping hand, but it would seem we are too late. Yes, I guess we can still show them Alfie. Ding dong ditch. Dun, 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 dun. We bring you the baby. Wow, hi grandma. Step inside a minute, it's not going Yeah, into that place that's got loads of room to walk and it's maneuver. Right. Oh the, my gosh. We've had a massive delivery. I, I know, I came around to help. I've been here for all of three seconds and I've just received a phone call saying that the fridge delivery is happening right now. Well, this is going to be a short and sweet squeeze. Give us a hug. Lovely to see you. Oh, it would seem winter's coming. Because look at all the crows, there's billions of them. 
You know nothing. Massive shout out to the delivery driver guy. I was like, mate, we're around the corner with a pram. Yes, Lydia's now pushing. And no, it's not because I'm an absolute wimp and I can't do it. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. But I was like, mate, we're around the corner. We've got a pram and we're on foot. He was like, mate, take your time. All's good in the hood. I'm there in spirit, babe. Keep it going. Keep it going. There's a bit of a hurdle um, ahead of us. Lydia's wearing brand new cream trainers and we need to get through this muddy bog. Flipping heck. Hmm, if you can avoid the dog poop and this, I reckon you can just go left and avoid it. Yeah? I was going to give you a piggyback, but I think you can actually make that. And I'll just push through. Slowly does it. Slowly does it. <laughs> Watch out for dog do. All right, I'm coming through. We've just got to have our fingers crossed now that I've actually ordered the right fridge. Because well, if I haven't... Did you measure it? <laughs> That's what he always says to me. Okay, I did three times, all right? But I've just got so a funny even, feeling... It's even more embarrassing if it doesn't fit. Shit. What a man. Oh, I really appreciate you waiting. Oh my gosh. Wait, did you just say that's a hill and a half? Yeah. Have you seen that? That's where I've got to go down. Bloody hell. It's a bit of an embarrassing one that I've had to order this. Because the last one of these, I drilled through it. I was trying to de-ice it, and there was a massive chunk of ice, and I put a drill through it, and it went straight through the back, like an absolute pleb. Got to get around the back, get the back doors open, and the legend said, it'll give me an hand getting it inside. And I wonder, for a small bri bri bribe, if I can perhaps get in to help me carry that outside. Right, so just pull it out then, yeah? Yep. Sweet. <laughs> Yeah. Right, no screws anything. Yeah, else. I'm all right. He wants to be a YouTuber. I'm pretty hard driving me into him with it. <laughs> oh well, I, I will say, um, sitting around playing video games is definitely a job. So don't you dare tell me you can't do it. <laughs> My dad used to hate me playing video games. I used to keep him up all night swearing on Call of Duty <laughs> at like three o'clock in the morning. He's screaming and shouting and banging to the point where he thought like someone was robbing the house. No, and then. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then, and then it kind of like came full circle because as much as he hated me playing video games for a living, um, he was a builder and then through playing video games, ended up building this house. So it came like full circle of like, oh wow, you can actually turn it into a job. One way to turn it over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I'll well, tell you what, for that one, mate. You're not going to get that in. pull through. Yeah. I'm going to have to try and work out some way to do that. I might, I might be, um, I, I can take the head off the... I take the head off the plug. What we were saying then is I need to take this wire off the plug, which I can easily do from my electrical engineering days. Okay, bye. Feed it through that hole, lead it up to there, reconnect it, and jobs are good. Em. And then you know I'm going to Costco and stocking that thing to the brim. Honestly, what a guy. Even took all the rubbish away. Great success. Now, what could possibly go wrong of me trying to install this myself? Got my instructions, got my key for the bar, which is actually very damn useful to have now because like when Alfie gets older, if I'm ever like going on holiday and I don't want him to just be ransacking the beers, I'll keep them all in this and I'll just lock it and he won't be able to get in. Did just realize that's pointless because you know, he could just ransack this. But I'm hoping he'll do better than I did. Because when I was a kid, half of my alcohol spirits in my dad's house were definitely topped up with water. This is a very random thing for me to just bring up, but I've just got off the phone with my manager who like brings brand deals to the channel and we might have one of the biggest name brands reaching out wanting to work with us. I think I know who it is. Am I right? You know, yes, right. yeah. I bought one of the products the other day. No, we've already, got, we've already got loads of it. So the fact that they want to work with us is absolutely huge. I know it seems really random for me just to throw this into the vlog. Like, I'm not promoting whatever it is or talking about who they are now, but it's just mad that through doing this for, like, nearly 14 years, I never thought I'd get to a point in my life where I'd potentially work with this brand of this size and this scale. And that is, again, just part and parcel to you guys watching supporting and enjoying these vlogs so if it happens honestly it'd be one of my proudest moments to say wow we we did that but yeah i'll keep you guys posted in the future but yeah just wild or i came up here being like oh i got some news and lydia what are you doing are you doing a little a little baby haul yeah. oh look at all i'm not i'm not gonna spoil it if you want to go and see if you're like into all the baby stuff and all that if you want to go and see lydia's behind the scene haul of what this is go and follow her on instagram here you're well close to 100,000 followers, aren't you? So if you guys want to follow it, if you're interested in that sort of stuff, go ahead, do it, and enjoy all of the extra Alfie content. Right, I need a screwdriver. Tanking, what is going on here? Like this, 
This is ridiculous. This is absurd. This doesn't class as the garage being messy, so don't start coming at me, but this has been trying to put things on the wall task, trying to put on license plates, and we're still yet to hide this Dorito in plastic in someone's house. So we definitely need to get around to doing that. But I'm not doing it yet, and I'm going to take myself uh, a few little tools to get the job done. I will be back, though, because I need to tidy that, and I need to take the Dorito. Time to get electrocuted. Ooh, very smart play is about to be made. I'm going to tape that wire to the end of this wire. That way I can feed it through the back of the unit easier. So I'm going to need some tape. Mm, the hoover, so we can get that suck suck. A multi-surface wipe for all this just random muck that's... Oh, it's, again, it's gritty. Oh, this has been here a while. But they do the job. Because this place looks like new. Electrical engineer Tom is now going to dismantle this plug. It should be pretty straightforward. Just going to go ahead and take it off. Fish, bash, bosh. Right, let's remember the layout. Green, blue, brown. Now, all we've got to do is tape that up and squeeze it through. Let's get the unit a bit more into place. I don't know why I'm pulling that face because this floor's got so many chips and holes in it that I'm really not bothered if it scratches it. And like you said, to get this in there, just like tilt it, put it in, but there might be enough run on this cable for me to be able to feed it through from here, which I think there is, so let's give it a go. Alright, cable end one, cable end Two, not got a lot of room to play with to be fair. All right, let's try and be gentle with this. Hope for the best. Bum, 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 bum. Will it fit through the gap? Oh yeah. Yep, it did, it did, it did. Just gonna keep feeding it, feeding it, feeding it, feeding it, feeding it, feeding it, feeding it. Oh, it's through, the fat boy is through, I fed it. Nice, all right, so there's that. I think, oh jeez. I nearly knocked that entire um, shelf over. Right, I'm trying to see if I can do what he said, which is pivot it like this, put one end of it on, like that. Really don't want to rip away the front of the bar, because the, uh, the feet on this are pretty intense. Pivot that up, and then again, then again. Making noises I don't like. I think. Ooh, don't drop it. I think we're up. Ooh, horrible sound. I'm gonna keep pulling this to keep it taut. We're in. Oh, fucking hell! I thought I lost it then. Keeping it taut. Keeping it taut. And voila! Oh my gosh, it's perfect. It's actually perfect. Look at that. Oh, look at that. It's what it looks like when you've got a fridge that you don't drill a freaking hole through. Yes. Right, let's just uh, install this back into play and plug it in and power up. I am the handyman. I come from far away. What do we say? Keep him away from the fridges. Okay, I can do this. I'm going to need to, I'm going to slide myself in here real quick. Beep, 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 beep. Just me on a Thursday doing the stuff that needs to get done. Right, I honestly can't see where the end is there, so I'm just gonna cut this off. <laughs> okay, after a long faff later, I have finally got the cable free uh, for me to reattach the plug on. So let's do this. Got my blue going in you. Who would have thought all oh, those years of electrical engineering? <laughs> a whopping one. I dropped out after my second year. Well, you can see why, because the brown cable's just come out. And it's not crimping in properly. What the back? It's actually the first thing you do in electrical engineering. On the first day, you uh, rewire a plug. And uh, I actually practiced for it, so when it came around to doing it, I did it, and I did it in style. Mm, yes, I did. Right, bang that on. Nice, safe and secured. Sleeves back on. Everything is good. And you know what? Oh my gosh, all that time later, we should be good. Right. Let's plug it in and um, hope we don't explode. In three... Two, one. Yes! Listen to it go. And we've got a bit of peel porn to do down here, so let's get it off. Are you ready? Silence in the peel room.
Oh, 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 oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a fridge and it is freaking working. Electricity bill goes. Brrr. I never read the instructions of the last one, so I think I'm going to do that for this one. As it seems there's a lot of useful information at the back of how to deal with the, the noise of it and if any frost forms. Mm, I feel like this is aimed at me. Never remove frost or ice buildup with a sharp implement or tool. You don't have to tell me twice. I learned this the hard way. Right, I've done some reading and I've done some Googling. And in that fridge, I'm mainly going to put bottles of beer. And per this screenshot on screen now... I didn't expect to still be rotating for some reason. This is really strange. Mm. Between four to seven degrees is what I need to set that. So I'm just going to read these instructions and work out how. The obvious one would be to, you know, press the buttons on here, but it's behind this plastic and I have no idea how you get the plastic off and I don't want to break it. And it doesn't say anything about any plastic in this booklet. Oh, I did it. Okay, it was just a fold up thing, but it was stuck really tightly and I didn't want to break it. Why up? Have we got a bit more peel porn in there? Come to daddy. Come to da Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, wait. Wait, why is this peeling off weird? Oh, nah, what? Nah, what's that? Oh, I've ruined the peel porn. I've saved it. Are we ready? Oh, yeah, there we go. Did it. Right. Part three, paragraph seven, altering the temperature with the climate controller. All right. To change the set point of your cooler, press the set button for three seconds until it's displayed. One, two, three. Okay. And uh, now adjust accordingly. I'm going to go for five. I'm going to go in the middle between the four and the seven. Oh, I need to click the set button to store it. So take two. We're going to press set. Oh, wait, it's already on five. Oh, it did store it. All right, we'll press it again. All right, all right, sweet. We'll get to temperature now. All that's left is beer. I'm actually going to keep these instructions. I'm going to put them underneath the bar. Where I had no idea I had a bottle of champagne just big chilling. Success. And as for everything else in here, these glasses are going to have to go because we do not serve Bex in this house. And if you don't mind me asking, what on earth is this? And why is it crustily stuck to the floor? Ugh. Nasty. All right, well, I'm just going to put that in there for now, safe and sound, all right, so I know where it is. I do need to clear that in... It... Stay in there. I need to clear all this out and clean it. And same can be said for this one. Oh, my gosh. Look how many Peroni glasses I've got. I've had a lot of people come in and say, Tom, can I have those Peroni glasses? And the answer is no. You can't have them because my mum's claimed them. I, for some reason, also have Grolsch. What? In all 30 years of my life, I don't think I've ever seen a Grolsch tap. I've seen gross bottles, but never a tap. So yeah, they're gonna have to go as well. But hey, we take that as a win. Who doesn't love a Moeski? Let's try the lock, because I currently can't get in it. And does it work? Oh, 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 it's like a push out. Oh, do I just lock it? Oh, really? Is this gonna end up being an annoying thing? Because if someone accidentally pushes that in and it locks, they're gonna constantly require me to unlock it, unless it's like a way to keep it unlocked. Closed, which I don't think there is. Hmm. Well, let's hope no one presses it. Why am I doing this? I just decided to brush up the floor and then hoover it. When I have a Derek. What? It's just that that's just me. It isn't painful. Well, that's just rude. Right, let's bang this back into place, which again is not the easiest thing to do, but I have to do this. Ready? Lean on it. Take the weight and reverse it. Into place. Whoa! Okay, I didn't mean to put it there, and it picked me up. Look <laughs> at well, there we go. We can go off to Costco. Okay, I expect this place looking spick and span by the time we get back. All right? See you. Mate, I, I have no idea why you're so sassy today. But I'll see you in an hour. And before we go anyway, we need to do a stock check, and you know what? It's not looking too bad. It's probably because I've not drank a lot of beer in like four weeks, but then even like the sugary drinks, I'm simply not touching them, so. I think we just need beer for downstairs, really. Oh, and some spicy water for Lydia's mum. Oh, for the road, I need to make myself a protein shake. Because I completely forgot. And now we water the powder. Drip by drip, we shall pour it in to give us nutrients and beefcakeness. Yeah, that was taking way too long. It came out the schnozzle. Hey, you. I brought you a snack. I thought you might enjoy it. <laughs> Enjoy. Got to keep her fed whilst I'm out. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake that booty. About to walk out the door, and I just got this notification saying Derek's having issues. I freaking swear, if he's eating my instruction manual for something, I'm gonna be fuming. Where are you? Where are you? And where are you stuck? You, you, what? Why did you try to eat that? Give it me back. You big sasagio. It's like a child, he just can't be trusted. Hey? You want to talk? 
You take that back. Oh, you'll get the bloody broom. Don't even think I need to address when I get a tissue in my nose like this. Yes, it means I'm having a nosebleed. There's a gas then. Finally, we can... Oh my gosh, I can't. I forgot. I'm supposed to be fixing the gate. Right, we're going to try an idea I've got. Not sure if it's going to work, but we're going to see. Going to require a spade, this bag of grit, and a lot of optimism. Because this thing is going to be jam-packed in there. And what I'm thinking is I just need to raise the ball up by a little bit. So if I can lift it up... Pack it out. Yes, I'm aware I should pack it with something better than grit. But as a proof of concept, we'll see if just raising it by a little bit will stop this going over the ball. If it doesn't, I do have a plan B. And that comes in the form of putting a plate into here, which drops down a little bit further. So when the gate comes to here, it will actually get stuck on the plate and won't go past the ball. Makes sense in theory. So I guess the question is, can I lift this up with a bit of leverage? Mm, that is... That's going nowhere. Yeah, that's not even budging a millimetre. And if anything, is bending my tools. I thought this might be the case. Because think how compacted that is in there from all the years of this drive pushing down into it. So I reckon it's going to be plate jobby. Going to take a few measurements of the width and the height. And I'll go by B&Q on the way back from Costco and see if I can speak to someone about just getting like a thickish style plate with some screws that won't rust to all hell. Doesn't really matter on this gate, like look at the state of it. But then like I said, just bang it so it drops below here and stops the ball going in between this gap that it's created over the years of like rotting away. I reckon it should work a charm. No time like rush hour to head to one of the busiest shops in the world. When will I learn? Apparently never. But as long as I got some good tunes and some good vibes, we're gonna be all right. Just trying to squeeze past my gate real quick. Yeah. Like a glove. And now we drive. The thing just went so wrong so fast. But we arrived at our destination. Right, are you listening to me? Before we go in there, no funny business, no messing around, no putting stuff in the cart that we don't need. We're sticking to the task at hand, and that is beverageinos. Lydia did also send me a text that you can see on screen now. Of everything she wants me to get. But that's as far as it goes. We're getting nothing else we don't need. We can do this. Ooh, new fridge. I did, I did. Oh, come on now. Look at the size of that thing. No way. Costco started selling really useful boxes. What? And it's a bundle. It's a three litre and a three litre and a nine litre and a 35 litre and a 64 litre. All for 30 quid. Crikey. And they, up, they do them in black. I had no idea. Oh, that is sleek as anything, that. Oh, I like it. I don't need it. But I like it. Noted for next time. Listen, I do actually need these, and you can never have enough of these. This is really useful. I found the food, so I'm going to get the list together for Lydia. There's the pork shoulder. They've got no wrapping paper like Sean did. I'm not quite sure, but I do want some king prawns, so I'll take them for me. They're healthy, right? I'll take a crate of these, and a crate of these, two of these, a pack of these, because apparently they're okay for protein. There seems to be an awful lot of Prime here. At one stage, the shelves were empty. Beer beverageino time. I think the fridge can hold 180 bottles. And I don't necessarily need to fill it, but it's nice to put a dent in it. So we're going to take some Madri, some Moretti, some Paroni. Noticing a theme here. And I'm going to pick up a crate for Andy. Because he has been absolutely crushing it at the house at the moment. And he deserves it. Hmm, do I think I've got enough? I'm going to say yes. Because we've not just got to fit this inside the bar. We've also got the bottles of Prosecco to put in. So I think that's all she wrote. This is so heavy, it's like a workout again. We. We need nappies and wipes. As a new dad, you can never have too many of those. And we're out of here. What's the damage? £3.90? Bargain! That's probably the first time I ever walked into Costco when it was daylight. And I came out to daylight. Strange. Here we go. Tell I played Tetris. And I've got some news. I've had a phone call with Steve Crawley, the joiner, who's going to come round at six o'clock tonight. I need to not forget that. I'm like a potato saying, yeah, yeah, see you later. Then forgetting it. But he's going to come round and assess the stuff that we want to do in the basement and put in the false walls for the basement office and the garage. It's not an extension, is it? The, the garage uh, divide? The garage divide to put the, the new pantry room in there and stuff. So. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm excited about that to see what he says. Hopefully, it should just be smooth selling him and be like, yep, yep, yep. And there's nothing where he's structurally like, ah, hmm, this is an issue. If I get pulled over by the police on the way home and they say, have you got anything in your glove box? I'll just be like, yeah, just, you know, 12 billion prawns. Didn't really want to run the risk of driving home, it falling over and smashing prawn juice everywhere. But that's where we're going. After we quickly bob to B&Q. I'm not quite sure how you perform a bob, but I can confidently tell you that when I walk into this B&Q, I'm walking straight past those buckets because I don't need any more. And I am a man with a plan. I think I found what I need, but it's massive. So I need like a 100th of that. This is all that they've got, and it just got brought up that I can use the angle grinder 
to cut it. So I'm going to take that, that, because I always need another one. And for everyone screaming at me, I finally got a claw hammer. And I've only gone and done it. I've signed up for a trade card at B&Q. And well, we've already worked this out. I've probably spent more than enough money to qualify to get 10% off everything else for the next three months. But because I didn't have the business card, I didn't qualify. Idiot. And look at that for next time. Get £13.50 off when you spend £90 or more. I could start selling buckets in bulk. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate you. What a day. The sky's, oh my gosh, the sky's absolutely stunning. And I now, from this point on, get to walk in and out of the trade point. I technically class as a tradesman. Oh my Lord, I feel like this is the most beautiful ad for B&Q in the world. B&Q, making dreams happen. Your boy's now in trouble because I have the joiner coming around at 6 p.m., but I'm all supposed to be going to someone's birthday meal at 6 p.m. Um, so you can see where I've gone wrong. And just to add more insults or injury, uh, I've just walked out of B&Q with all my stuff except the sheet metal. I literally went in there to buy it and I've just left it behind. So I'm going to have to... What? <laughs> They're following me. But I got my sheet metal. And I can finally head on home. Hmm. I'm going to keep my eyes on you. Oh, come on now. Look at this. Perfect example of when this happens. And I'm obviously gonna have to show you how I get through the gate when it does this. So I press the button to start them opening and then I slowly but surely creep towards the gate that's stuck and just with a gentle, a gentle, a, a gentle, Boop. <laughs> the gate will start opening. And the more and more the gate wears off, the more and more I keep having to do the gentle boop to the point where I'm just going to absolutely ruin the gate. So uh, getting this fixed is a good idea. I've managed to pull off the play of the century. Steve Crowley, the joiner, is able to get here a little bit early. To which I actually think he's outside. So I don't have to be in the bad books and miss a family meal. Instead, we can see him now, get through what we need to do, and then go for some scran. The man, the myth, the legend. Steven. Welcome to the madhouse. Lexi, mate. Oh, I'm gonna come with you. She had a lot of seats, baby. No, she should have totally come. No. Oh. Look. Oh, look at this. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. This is three months old, mate, already. Hello. Three months old. Hello. <laughs> oh. Hey, Chunky. You okay? Oh. Here you go. We're right at all the measurements. Because we want to make sure this can work. And we turn this space from the pit it is into the ultimate washroom. A short and sweet visit to Steve. But he said he can't see any reason why we can't just put a stud wall across here, a doorway into the garage, which we have to make sure is fire safe. We have to install a lip between the garage section and the new washrooms to stop any fuels leaking from the garage into the room. We'll have to move any electronics that are in the way so the new stud wall can go flush across. We can take out this empty cupboard and also in the ceiling and the new wall, insulate it to all heck. And this room should be nice and toasty. So effectively, the concept and idea is good to go. I've just got to take care of all this, all this, and then when Steve's free, which is going to be in about a month, we're going to be good to go. I did also discuss the basement plans for the new office and the hallway. And Steve could get that done as soon as he's finished with the washroom. However, I've put a pin in it because as this is going to be my office, I need to make sure this is soundproof to all heck. I don't want to be shouting in here and anyone out here. Here's me shouting when I'm 360 no-scoping the noobs. Because, yeah, nobody wants that in their life. So with the help of Con, who works really closely with the Cybermen and has built so many epic setups, he is going to help me solve that problem. I just need to find out from him whether or not we can get the stud wall put in first or if the soundproofing needs to be built into an entirely separate like stud wall situation. So we're going to find out all them details soon this week and we'll crack on with this as soon as we know where we stand. And for now, I need to go. Because you remember when I said, oh, Steve's here early. So I'm going to be able to go to the birthday meal on time. Well, guess what? The meal was at six o'clock and it's now two minutes past seven. I would just like to clarify that this was very much one of those things like, oh, Tom, would you like to come? You don't have to come or anything like that because it's like, Lydia's cousin's birthday. But I was like, no, yeah, I'll definitely I'll do it. I'll just try and juggle the times around. And um, guess what? The juggling did not work. I got carried away trying to get the vlog live on time. So well, at least the vlog was. And better late than never, right? Oh my gosh, I'm starving. She even asked me to bring some spare clothes for Alfie because apparently he's dribbled that much that he's soaked wet through. Oh, <laughs> Stephen Hill at the grapes. Look at it. I have no idea what's on that. I just read I wanted fish. Prawn and something healthy and he's whipped that off. It's not healthy, but <laughs> I'll, I'll take it anyway. Bring the um, wagon and horses. Can I have a burger? 
Look at my boy. Look at him. Where's your sock gone? <laughs> Put your toes away, lad. I think it's safe to say we've got the cutest baby in the world. I love him. Oh. No. Oh, there it is. <laughs> he just melts me. Well, I've lost my son, but uh, Phoebe, happy birthday for 21 years of age. At 21, what's, what's the meaning of life? What's next? What's, what was yeah, it? yeah, I was wondering what's next. <laughs> what Don't forget, it's, a, it's about the journey. It's about the journey. Not the destination. Not the destination. Yeah, there we oh. go. Inspiring the generations. We just pulled up at the house and let me just show you Alfie's face in the rear view mirror. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, that was such a funny face. Are you okay now? Were you just being a bit fussy in the car? Oh, oh. You'd be fussy now. Oh dear. I've made myself a lovely brew, which is a bit of a funny colour for some reason. And I would usually say this is now going to power me up to get the rest of my tasks done. But the fact that it is 9.24pm, and I don't think my neighbours would appreciate me starting up an angle grinder to cut some metal, I think it's safe to say the rest of the gate task is going to have to wait till tomorrow. So we're kicking back in the lounge and watching the final episode of The Bear. Alfred, I am your daddy. I am your daddy. <laughs> he's just the best. He really is. I can't wait though, because I think he's the best now, but he's just going to get better. Think of the when we go on adventures together. Oh, we can have stupid shenanigans together. It's going to be you and me, dude. You and me. Not too sure he's convinced about that one. <laughs> but we're sat back watching Mr. Joe Suggs' vlog. And it seems he's getting motivated and getting shit done around his house. I like it. Whoa! And he's in the gym! There's got to be something in the water. What is it? Why, why is everyone getting fit and cleaning their houses? <laughs> Whoa, what is going on here? Rewind the vlog. Excuse me. Must have dreamt it. Anyway, to the dump. What? I've been sidetracked. By B and Q. Ignore the buckets, Joe. Ignore the buckets. Ignore the, Ignore the buckets. Get your ass back in there and buy a bucket. It's a pound. Have that, Tom. I will not be influenced by you and the orange bucket brigade. You I'll raise you. Bastard. Two pounds for a pair of gloves. Two pounds for a pair of gloves. It's not. It's not a bad price to be fair, but it's a pound bucket. Jump. Get your ass back in there and buy a bucket of shit. We've now teleported to the bedroom where a certain someone is passed out. And we've just finished watching uh, season one and two of The Bear. Such a good show. Just really gutted. I don't know when the next season's coming out. And I hope it gets renewed because it's such, such a good show. And do you know what it makes me want to do? What? Go back to Fold, the restaurant that we went to, and just eat absolutely epic food. This is ridiculous. We want to watch The Sopranos, but it's not on Netflix. It's not on Amazon Prime. And to purchase it, it's $79.99 on Apple TV or $24.99 per season on Amazon. And there's six seasons. Or £2.50 per episode. Or £2.50 per episode. Yeah, wow. Do you know what? It is a bit of a joke when you pay so many subscriptions. And I mean, like, literally, we pay pretty much all of them. Yeah, we've got one. And there's still things... You have to pay for watch. or you can't watch. So, like, I just actually go, I'm going to put a screenshot between me and Lydia now. Bang. You can actually buy for 60 quid the Blu ray yeah, but for an extra 20, discs collection. So it's cheaper. 20, can we just appreciate that the DVD player is on top of the Yeah, I, I did. So I did, I did Lydia, Lydia was like, there. we don't have a DVD player. And I was like, we literally have a Blu ray DVD player up there which I could take out, plug in and connect to that. And then Bobby we'd be scrolling the through the, 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 the DVD bonus scenes oh, and deleted yeah. scenes and stuff. So we'd have a physical thing. We'd get to watch the show the and save 20 quid. Are you really going to want to change the DVD? Am I really about to spend 80 quid on six seasons of The Sopranos and we don't even know if we're going to like it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Shout out to Now TV. Twitter came in clutch there, didn't it? Absolutely. Oh it, my gosh. Everyone on my Twitter must have been like, oh, Tom's trying to find a link to a dodgy website to watch it for free or something. I was like, no, it, this show is like from 1999. It's got to be free Sorry, and available so, so on the streaming imagine, service. Imagine 
Imagine if I would have paid 80 quid and then like, found out. No, listen, imagine we'd have just bought it then and you'd not put the tweet out. This vlog went live tomorrow. Oh, no, I would, I would have flipped. And everyone would have commented, like, <laughs> I'd lost it's my on shit. TV. I lost my shit. So, yeah, uh, we're going to start watching The Sopranos. Uh, shout out to everyone who follows me on Twitter or X. If you don't follow me, it's probably the number one platform I'm most active on. At Syndicate, follow me. If you don't follow Thank him, you. you can't help him. So yeah, no, honestly, you guys are literally, you're the best in the comment section, but you are the best on Twitter and, uh, well, X ever. So, honestly, thank you. Let the binging commence. Lydia fell asleep 10 minutes into the first episode. Yeah, not even kidding. I was so excited. Like, yeah, Sopranos, we're going to stay up till like four o'clock in the morning watching it all. And I looked to my left and Lydia was just absolutely conked out of it. But... It is what it is, and what it is, is a new dawn and a new day. So I am going to have to say, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, leave a like button. If you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button. We're trying to hit 2.6 million subscribers, and we're growing. We're gaining numbers, and we're getting closer and closer to it. We're getting closer to being 10,000 people away from subscribing for us to hit that target. So to every single person who's clicked it, all you legends, I appreciate you, and I will never stop thanking you for wasting your time watching my time. Whether it's shenanigans on a bike, bunker busting, in the basement or all in all getting shit done you're the real ones i appreciate you and i'll see your guys faces on monday monday morning for the next weekday vlog at 7 p.m on the dot so until then get your faces out of here much love and as always a sadios